one of the agile principles is that we want to measure progress based on working software or working solutions. The idea of the solution demo is that instead of just measuring progress based on time or somebody's opinion to say, yes, we are 10% done, 50% done, is to have a working solution that we can show. The other benefit of a solution demo is that we have our key stakeholders in there. They can also see progress and that's where we build confidence and we build that trust that the team, these this, we can trust these teams. You know, they say they're going to do something and they do it. And every two weeks we get a chance to see where they've gone and provide guidance if you believe that they are going off track. Another dimension to the same solution demo is that we've got all the key stakeholders in there. If there are impediments that we have not been able to resolve, that's a good time to make it visible to them. To say, look, we wanted to do these things. We managed to do this lot, but we didn't do this. And the reason for those are boom, 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 boom. And we need your help to resolve it. So it is not about embarrassing or threatening anybody within the solution demo, but it's to also, it's a transparency and also accountability, if you like, event or cadence again. The solution demo, it, if you like, enables and enforces, if you like, um, the integration of all the various parts of the solution. So we now have to have an integrated end-to-end -end solution rather than uh, it works on my machine syndrome. So yeah, it's all working. It works on my machine, but when we put it together, it doesn't. So the solution demo enables that verification and validation that we got our continuous integration working, everything is hanging together and get that feedback that we want from the um, internal and external stakeholders as appropriate.